Hi, thanks for visiting our website. If you're buying a home or even thinking about refinancing, how'd you like to receive a $53,272 savings guarantee in writing? That's right, we can actually show you how to save at least that much money on the purchase and financing of a home and help you become 100% debt free in six to 10 years with a 30 year fixed payment. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how can this be possible? It sounds absolutely too good to be true. Well, with our system, it's very simple. You need to understand how the bank and a mortgage really works and how to beat the banks at their own game. So let me take a couple of minutes and share some startling facts with you. Hiring the right realtor and lender can make a huge difference. You're really at a fork in the road right now. You're out looking online for different mortgage companies and realtors, but unless they're a certified My Equity Blueprint advisor, they absolutely will not be able to help you pay off your home in six to 10 years. Let us show you what these certified experts know that others in their industry don't. And folks, this will change your life forever, guaranteed. Now, at the end of 30 years, which one of these two signs would you like to put in your front yard? I hope you said the one on the right, the blue one. If not, we're in some big trouble here. Now, what I'd like to do is consider the cost, the real cost of a mortgage. Let's just use $100,000 and assume that interest rates were 5.5%. I know that's not what they are today, but let's just use that. If you bought a $100,000 house or borrowed $100,000 at 5.5%, you had to pay back $204,403, over $204,000. Now, what the bank pays attention to is how much money you pay them. And what you focus on as a buyer is usually the interest rate. In reality, the interest rate has very little impact on your mortgage. It's the interest dollars that you pay. We're going to focus on the dollars much more than the interest rate. That's the difference between thinking like a banker and a buyer. And folks, we want you to think and act like a banker. Why? Because I think we can agree the banks have a lot more money than the consumers. Let's take a look at how a mortgage really does work. And the average life of a 30-year fixed rate loan is only 5.4 years. So if the bank calls you in five years and said, hey, let's refinance, we can cut your payment by 15%. Would you do it? Of course you would. But let's look through these numbers real quickly because that's what your mortgage would look like. So let's go through this. If you had a $100,000 mortgage at 5.5%, your payment would be over $567. Now, your balance after making that payment for five years would have been reduced by about $7,500. Your closing cost on a new loan would be about $3,000. And I'm going to guess you're going to do what 99% of all other people would do. You'll roll them into the cost of your loan. You don't want to write a check for $3,000, right? So your new loan balance would be $95,461, about $4,500 less than what you started with. Now, your new payment absolutely will be $497.97, which means you'd save about $70 a month. So the question is, how many months before you break even? Well, the answer, the way that all the experts teach you to do this, is to take your closing costs divided by your monthly savings, which would be, in this case, 42.97 months, right? Go to Bankrate.com, Susie Orman, Dave Ramsey. All the experts tell you this is how you calculate your break even on a refinance. Here's the problem, folks. The answer is wrong. It will actually take you 35.25 years to break even. How does that work? Well, over that five-year payment, five-year period, you made $34,067 in payments. And when you refinance to a new 30-year fixed rate loan, which is what 95% of the people do, you're actually resetting your clock. You're resetting your loan. So instead of having 25 years left to pay, you now went backwards and have 30 years to pay. The question is, what happened to that $34,067? Who has the money? Well, your payment is, or I'm sorry, your principal is about $4,500 less than what you started with. So you have about $29,000. Who has that money? You or the bank? Well, the answer is the bank, of course, folks. And at the end of the day, you just handed the bank a little bit more than $29,000 absolutely free. That's why the bank is focused on the dollars, and the buyer is usually focused on the rate and the payment. Folks, there's a reason why the banks have all the money and the consumers don't. And this is it right here. 
we think we're going to take and keep that loan for 30 years. And as soon as we can lower the payment a little bit, we jump backwards and reset our clock over and over again. Okay, That's why we call this the hamster wheel of refinancing. If we simply held on to our loans and paid it off quicker, we can jump off this hamster wheel. Let's take a look at another important question. Is your lender, your realtor, your financial, or your tax advisor ever shared these facts with you? And if the answer is no, why not? Well, in my experience, there's really only two reasons. Number one is they didn't know, or number two, they don't care. Well, I'm not gonna say that anybody wouldn't care, so I'm gonna work on the I don't know. Here's the reality, folks. Do you really want to entrust your financial future to people who don't know how basic math and a basic mortgage works? I hope not. Let's take a look at a different option. I made some assumptions here. I won't read those off for you. But with the same $567 payment, how would you like to have your home paid off in six years and all your other consumer debt paid off in about 10 months? You'd actually save $84,847 in interest which would give you an effective interest rate, meaning the amount of interest dollars you pay that would be equivalent to having a 1.215 interest rate. Now, if you simply took those payments and put them in an investment account for the remaining 24 years at 5%, you'd accumulate $427,000, just a shade underneath that, all with the exact same amount of a monthly payment that any other realtor and lender would give you, unless... They're a certified My Equity Blueprint advisor. The question is, folks, would you rather have a house that you pay off in, say, 30 to 50 years, or would you rather have it paid off in six years, no consumer debt in 10 months, and have saved almost $427,000 at the end of 30 years? I think we can agree this would be a better option, correct? So let's take a look at another option. We call this the real estate squared or adult monopoly. Well, if we could pay one house off in six years, instead of selling the house to buy a bigger one, why don't you keep that house, turn it into a rental property, and let's say you get $1,000 a month in rental income. You have a new mortgage payment of about $1,136. We can get your second home paid off in about seven years. Now, on that one, you'd save about $167,000 in interest, and your effective interest rate, meaning the interest dollars that you'd pay, would be equivalent to having a note rate of about 1.274. The question is, how many homes would you buy at 1.274? Now, what if we repeated this process every six to seven years? In the same 30-year period, folks, that any other realtor and lender would have you spending money, what if you could own four houses now, all free and clear at the end of 30 years? And let's say, for example, that you live in one of the houses and you rent the other three out for $1,500 a month. You have a $4,500 per month income coming in after 30 years. Here's the great part, folks. It's actually indexed for inflation because rents go up, not down, right? Is that a more viable option for you? Now, this is what we look at. We call our real estate monopoly plan. You've got perpetual monthly rental income indexed for inflation of about $4,500 a month. Now, I hope we can agree that options two or three are certainly more attractive and both far superior to option one. We're just offering a brief overview. All of our plans have to be customized based on your personal situation and circumstances. It will take about 45 minutes to determine exactly how much money you can save and determine a debt-free date for you. The decision you have to make is, does it make sense for us to sit down and invest 45 minutes to create a customized plan for you? If so, you'll find your local My Equity Blueprint Advisors contact information below. Just give them a call and schedule your private consultation. After all, wouldn't you want your home paid off in less than 10 years and put an extra $53,272 in your pocket instead of the bank vault? I hope so, and it's all possible with the same payment that any other lender and realtor will have you spend every month. So go ahead and give us a call. Also, you can download our free ebook below to learn more and see the numbers in more detail. We appreciate you spending a couple minutes with us, and we look forward to speaking to you soon. Good luck on the purchase or refinance of your home.